Today we're going to learn how to uh, give uh, names to um, frequencies using the icon um, ICA24. Uh, you may remember from the last video we learned how to uh, program the frequencies into the icon. So this one we'll just uh, briefly do a recap on uh, on on that and uh, and move on to giving them meaningful names. So uh, right now we're in uh, block four, and uh, we can see in memory location one we have this frequency programmed. And if we dial through, I pre-programmed these frequencies. Uh, One twenty point two is in channel. The clearance is uh, in channel two of block four. One twenty one point eight is our ground in uh, channel three of block four. Uh, in channel 4 we have the tower frequency, in channel 5 the approach and departure, and in channel 6 the flight services. Now that's the 6 of the 20 slots that we filled, and since we didn't fill any more, it'll go back to 1 uh, in channel 1, and it'll continue on, and as long as we keep rotating it, you can see it'll just take us through those 6. So today we're going to put some meaningful names to those. We're going to start with channel 1. Atis. Now, um, what the way this works is uh, what we first do is we push the uh, F button. Well, first we go out of uh, the memory mode. The, the M41 shows that we're in the memory mode, so we're uh, allocating memory. Uh, we're, we're we're viewing these channels uh, by by using the memory locations. So if we hit clear, that puts us into standard uh, mode where we uh, can turn the dial to change frequency or we can plug our frequency in. So uh, our ATIS was 125. We're going to go ahead and tune that back in, 125.175. I'm just going to, well, I'll, I'll type it. 125.175. Okay, so there it is. It's in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a meaningful name for that storage location. So the way I do this, I hit the F button and the MRMW twice fast. And that will uh, bring us up. We'll do, go ahead and do that. F, 1, 2. And there you can see it wants to store that number into these six locations. So we'll go ahead and do that. And the way it works is just like our telephone where 1 is the... 1 and Q and Z, 2 is the A, B, C, 3 is D, E, F, and so on. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do this, uh, and we're going to say ATIS. So ATIS is going to be, we hit this, since the first block is blinking, we hit the 2, and it goes to 2, and hit it again, and it goes to A. And we hit it again, and it goes to B, hit it again, and it goes to C, and then back to 2. So we want A for ATIS. And if we look here, T is under the 8 key, so we'll go ahead and hit that, just like we would on our, our telephone. I is uh, 4, so we'll hit that appropriate amount of times. And then S is under 7. There it is, ATIS. That used for the six locations. We'll hit Enter to enter that. And that is now programmed under that channel. So we'll, uh, we'll verify that. We'll hit the MR button and we see we're still in block 4. Channel 1 now has ATIS instead of 125.175. That's what it shows. It still tunes that frequency in when we're set there, but uh, it says ATIS instead of showing the frequency. Now if we go to the next, it still shows 120.2. 3 still shows the 120.8. 4 still is 133.1. 5 and 6 still show those numbers and back to 1, which shows ATIS. Now we'll go ahead. Let's go. Let's go ahead and do number two. We'll call. Let's see, channel two. We'll go ahead and ch uh, call that clear for clearance. We'll shorten it to that. So to do that again, we hit uh, MR to clear, or sorry, clear to clear. Hit the F button. Hit the MRMW twice, and then we'll go ahead and type clear in. And that's C, 5 is L, E is 
three. Um, CLEA is two, and R is under seven. And you may want to do what I did. She create yourself a little cheat sheet here. It makes it a little easier. Um, after that, we'll hit enter, and that should be accepted now. We'll verify it. Um, MR for our memory, and sure enough, their chosen channel, channel 2, we have clear. So, channel 3, 4, 5, 6, still have numbers. Number 1 has got ATIS, number 2 has got clearance. So, let's go to number 3 for ground. Do the same thing. Get Clear that out. F MR twice. Clearance is going to be C L under five. E is under three. Uh, excuse me. We're supposed to be doing ground here, aren't we? Channel three. So this is a good example. I could show you how to fix a mistake. So we've got the E blinking now, so let's just back that up by using the, the thumb knob up there and we'll put ground under here instead. So let's see, where's G at? G is under 4, so let's go ahead and put G in there. Now let's go ahead and hit the R for under 7. So and notice it doesn't have anything to do with the length of time, but if you, I use a different key, and I can override that by just using this too, by the thumb wheel. So GR, so I'm going to do O for using 6. U, and we have six locations to what we can fill here. So U is under 8. N, we just have just enough, so we'll hit the N under 6, and D under 4. Nope, D under 3, sorry. So there's ground. So we'll hit Enter, and there. Now we'll go ahead and verify, and let's see, we have in channel 3 ground. Channel 4, we have the still have the tower frequency, but it's showing us frequency. Let's back up, go the other way, clearance, and A to center channel 1. So you can see how that uh, programs. We can go ahead and program the others, but I think you get the idea. Um, this uh, really wasn't covered very well in the owner's manual. As a matter of fact, it didn't work from what if you followed instructions in the owner's manual. I talked to ICON directly on that. And they said, oh, gee, we're sorry when we got the manual from Japan. It, uh, it didn't work out so well. The translation was uh, not so good. But uh, in our new products, this is not a problem. So that's what I heard. And, uh, but anyways, we were able to get to an answer. And I hope it helps you as it, as it did me. Um, have a great day.